Don't over tighten. Oh, hey there. Welcome back to the channel. Good to see you. If you've been following along with the Winston build here, you may be wondering what the heck is going on. Well, I have updates. After the last video, when we shut the truck down, I looked underneath. Gasoline everywhere. Turns out these fittings here, these AN fittings that went into the brass doohickeys on the thing here were leaking. When I put it all together, I sealed it up with this, this liquid thread tape stuff. Turns out that doesn't seal. So we took it apart, cleaned it all up, and resealed it with this pink extra duty, extra thick, extra heavy, extra stuff. And you know, I've run the truck and everything since then, and no more leaks. So I'm going to assume that this is all fixed up. Time for some drive shaft action. All right, pull this out of here. Pop these old U joints out, put some new ones in. Maybe we can freshen this up a little. First thing we've got to do is get these clips out of here. They like to spring off every once in a while to hit the neighbor's kid in the eye. And then mom comes over here fussing like a banshee. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. I guess the moral of that story is keep the neighbor's kid out of your garage. Ow! 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 Injury! Injury! Oh, it's a code red injury. Oh. You want to make sure you tackle this the most difficult and inconvenient way possible. You know, like, like me. Here we go. Holy smokes, man. It looks better already. Other end. Like magic. Oh, man. This is Winston's original drive shaft. And when I measure, it comes out where I have very little play. Um, not sure if it's enough or not. But what we're going to do is take the let's find out approach. Which means, in true Hammer's Garage fashion, I am much more concerned with how it looks than how it works. Had this can of VHT stuff in the cabinet. I think I bought it for something else. I don't know if it's right for it or not, but it'll change what color it is. This one exploded when I took the cap off. See that? Beautiful. And this one doesn't spray good at all. You folks, fix this, please. Us shade tree community folks would appreciate it. Pretty drive shaft in old Winston. Pretty black underneath. Pretty drive shaft. Pretty ribbon. I should have been a lyricist. Is that a thing? Lyricist? I don't know. Look, it's brand new. Well, we're going to ever so gently tap in our new U-joints here. Get in the groove. Little clip. Boom, shakalaka. Yeah, because of the yoke on the 4L60, I had to get this special combination U joint. But anyway, I have it, so we'll get this together and get it in the truck. <laughs> Gotta have the needle nose. Whoops. Get in there. There we go. Oh, okay. 
First things first, in the transmission, get in there, please. Just, there we go. All right. Now we just got to get this end up in here. Just turn this a little. That's good. It's not quite where we want it to be. I'll get in there. Shouldn't there be something that locks these in or something? Let me check. Uh, oh, I guess they need the clips on them. Hold on, I gotta get the clips. Let me get the clips. Get. There we go. Get on there. Now we can get you in here. Do, 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 do. Safety straps. So the drop shaft don't come out when you're giving it the what for. So what I did here was I checked the angle on the transmission. And we went equal and opposite to the rear differential. And the QA1 setup allows us to just pinion angle right here. So I just checked the angle of the transmission and then made this equal and opposite with this adjustment. Now I just got to tighten this stuff up and I think we'll be okay. And you can see what I got here as far as play on the slip yoke and it's it's not a whole lot but I think it'll be okay. I guess we'll find out. We got to tackle the shift linkage here because you know if we can't shift the transmission. We, oh, I don't know, it just fell right off of there. If we can't shift the transmission, we ain't going nowhere. This is the original linkage off the truck, but we're missing a piece. And, well, let's get that, and then I'll explain to you how this works and what my idea is, which involves this. First thing we gotta do is get this piece off of here. Oh, it's not a half. Dang it. Five slash eight. I'll be darned. <sighs> Okay, get off of it. Okay. Well, it's gonna shift it first. Come on. There we go. Anyway, we need this. Get off of it. We need this. Let's see if we can clean this. Up. Cookie tin. Break clean. Just look at that. Oh. No one let a match. So anyway, this piece bolts to the transmission and this goes down in here, see? And then when you shift it, it goes clickety click, clickety click. But this has to ride. So on the truck from the factory, there's like a cup mounted to the frame that this rides in, you know, to allow it to thing. But it's not gonna line up with that cup anymore. So, my idea was to take a piece of steel plate, okay, and weld a bushing or something to it, have it come through the side of the frame where this rod can ride in there, you know, like so, and then this goes clickety-click, and this rides in the bushing. See there? Like that. Now, that could all be pie in the sky, so I guess we better get under the truck and figure it out. For this to work, I have to get this one off and then see if this one will go on. First, second, third, fourth. I'm guessing that's like a, I don't know, 15 or something. Let's see. Is it this? I'll be darned. It is. Let's get it off of there. Oh, I gotta go. Okay, here we go. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Let's see if we can get this off. Get off. Get. Get off. Tight quarters. Oh. All right, now this, and let's see, we need, that's got to go back, go back, go, oh wait, is it this way, 
Oh, it is. Okay, we're gonna put that on there with this nut. La -ta 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 -ta. I'll just put this on here like this, and we're gonna make it tight. I think I can get the wrench in there. Probably can't get the wrench in there. I'm gonna need a socket. Dang it. Okay. 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 I think I got it. I think I got it. Well, it doesn't wanna. I'm gonna have to get it this way. Get it this way. Okay, get it this way. It's just not gonna get on there. There we go. Okay. There we go. I don't want to over tighten it. Well, now, you see, this is the. I don't know how well you can see this. Let's see if I can show you. You see that? Oh, you can't see nothing. I can't see it either. Wait. Let's see if I can show you this way. You see the. Okay, you see that linkage, you know, should ride in this cup here, in this cup. See that cup? Yeah. But who knows? I don't know how it's gonna line up. Let's find out. Let me go get the linkage and then we'll see what we can do. I'll be right back. It's gonna go like that, I think. Somewhere up in there. Anywho. right in the way we got yep i don't know is it going to the right place i can't see oh there it goes okay like that i guess okay so then this wait just a second here this it won't oh, there it goes so if this I mean, really. Where did it go now? I don't understand. Oh, there. It's, uh, how did it get way down here? What? I don't know what happened. Something happened. I don't, I don't know. We get... What is going on? Okay, this. Now we got something. Okay, if this goes... Oh, you know what? I need to take that off. Let's take that off and just... Put it on there and see, you know, what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. Maybe nothing. Or maybe something great. It could be something great. Now what I got to do. Okay, look. Now what I have to do. You see. I don't know if you can see. Okay, you see that? You see that right there? I, this? Wait, I can't get my... You see this right here, up there? Okay, that's the cup. And it's up too high, and too, it's got too much, it, it just, it binds, okay? It gets, so this, these two nuts and stuff, we're gonna just remove this cup altogether and then make us a, uh, a bushing. All right. Turns out this Z bar, you know, the way it's offset, is interfering with the exhaust. What I'm going to do here is heat this up and bend it straight. Now that's a little bit of a gamble because it will affect the geometry, but the it'll you know what it's going to do. It'll lower this pivot point when I straighten it out. But as it turns out, with the 4L60, this whole thing is higher than factory anyway. So we're just going to gamble and see if it works. Fire! I like fire. Z-bar for dinner. Let's see if it'll bend. Don't touch it. Now we just have to bend this piece. But we need to let this cool off first. Well, we're just going to put this in there and see if it does the trick. For the, you know, support thingy I was going to do. It looks like it doesn't have to be that elaborate. 
we're going to try something simple. This. I just need to wallow this hole out so that the rod will fit in it. So we'll do that first. I don't have a bench vise. Sucks. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Just needs to ride in there. Now what I want to do is put two little holes up top for my self-tappers. I'll tap it right into the frame. Ow! Probably shouldn't touch that. Ow! Hot! Why you? Oh, I'll just put this back together and then we'll get under there and cross our fingers. Okay. So this bracket is working, you know, for the for the shift rod thingy. Problem is it's too short. You know, once you get this mounted to the frame, I really need the hole to be like down here because it's misaligned. So we're going to make another one out of this. And I can get it down as far as I want to. <laughs> there we go. New bracket made out of frame. <laughs> I honestly don't know how well you can see this, but we have the shift linkage on here. And then this is the bracket that I made up. And you can see, let's see. You can see, you know, this is the bracket and there's the washer and the spring. And, you know, it all seems to work okay. I guess the best thing to do is find out. Reverse, neutral, drive, one, two. Nice. Drive shaft. Shift linkage. Still got a handful of things left to do. I got to wire in these fans. You see, I did this temporarily just so I could, you know, run the truck a little longer. I don't typically use these residential wire nuts, but you know, as a temporary gig, they do the job. And if you remember, I had to replace this um, throttle body because the throttle body housing was all cracked and everything. And so now it's idling super high. And so we got to take and I got to put the thing on the pewter there and you know, relearn it. So we got to do that because right now it's just, it's idling at like 1500 RPM. There's a little bit of wiring here left to do this. This is a TCC brake switch, which I did not realize at the time that it needs to be wired in a little different. When you hit the brake, it needs to be 12 volts all the time, except for when you hit the brake. So we're going to put this on a relay and, and trick it off the brake switch. So we got to take care of that. And then there's the uh, cruise control wiring for the drive-by wire pedal. I got to figure that out. And then of course I got to finish wiring up the gauges, get all this buttoned up and tucked in. You know, it all goes here and it should be clean. I still got, you know, so I just got, you know, stuff here. Everything left is everything left. It's, it's just stuff. Also got to get my alternator charge wire hooked up. So we're going to take care of these necessary items in the very next episode. And we will get this out on the street. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. And uh, hey, get off the couch and go wrench on something. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Here's my treadmill. <laughs> As if.